Good morning, good evening, good afternoon workouters. This is ground time. What does it mean? We're doing everything on the ground, mostly on all fours. So a lot of plank position and that's what we're gonna be starting in. So come into your plank position, then push your hips backwards, sitting bones back into V pose and then roll forward into plank position. This is to warm up your core and your shoulders and to get your heart rate up and running a little bit to create a little bit of juiciness in your joints, especially your shoulder joints, free your spine a little bit. So feel free to do all kinds of twists and moves that you need to, to free your spine. Next one up, get up into standing. There's not that much in standing, so enjoy it. Stand in a wide stance, then shift the weight from one side to the other, bending the outer leg, extending the inner leg. I would like you to feel a little bit of a stretch in the adductors, that's the inside of your thigh of the extended leg. So go as low as you need to and push the inner hip slightly down as to extend into the foot. Now this requires a little bit of ankle mobility, but try to stay with both heels firmly on the ground. Very nice. Do that very calmly. We're still in a warm up. And we continue with nice little twists in a wide stance. Bring your hips as low as you can. Push those knees out, then bring the hands onto the inside of your knees and twist around. So I want you to pull one shoulder down and the other one up and then change sides. You can play a little bit with this move as to push the shoulder further down and to push your hips further down. However, keep a little bit of an arch in your lower back as our spine likes to have its natural curvature. And most things that we do, we're better off with having more space between our vertebrae. Actually, all the time. Warming up the core and the legs in bear hold. Come into a four point stance. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and then lift those knees a few centimeters. Five centimeters is enough. So this is gonna burn, maybe a little bit, in your quadriceps, that's fine. If it burns too much, you can shift the hips up and down a little bit. So lift the knees a little bit up and down, but don't come all the way into a downward facing dog. I still want you to work your glutes here and your quads and I want you to work your core. So sucking the navel in, lifting from the core, make sure you're pulling the shoulders away from your ears and the shoulder blades towards the spine. The weight is mostly on your hands and your feet. All right, ground time doesn't always mean four point stands, it can also be in crab position. So here we come with the fingers pointing towards your feet. Start with lifting your hips up and from that pulled up position, bring the hips down, kick back. Bring the hips up again, bring the hips down, kick back. And all that in kind of a fluid movement. So hips go up, bring the hips down, kick. Bring the hips down, kick. So the secret here, the secret ingredient is to bring the hips up every time. Now to pre prevent injury in your arms, bend those elbows a little bit and make sure that your shoulders are pulled backwards and away from the ears. You did great. A little bit of a, of a rest of a breather here. Come back into four point stance, bird dogs. We're extending diagonally right arm left leg then pull everything to the middle crunch elbow and knee come together extending back out and then put everything back into center 
extending diagonally the other side, crunching in the middle, elbow and knee, extending back out, putting everything back, extending, crunching diagonally, big extension and putting everything back. When you're extending, don't go too far up, almost hip height or shoulder height, that's enough, otherwise you're arching your lower back too much. Wonderful. Crunch in the middle, engage the core. More of a mobility workout. So the next one has nothing about mobility. It's all about explosiveness in your chest and your triceps muscles. Try the explosive version, otherwise walk it. So the explosive one is from the middle. We're going out, back in the middle and narrow. To the middle and out and to the middle and narrow. If you want to walk this, you can walk this right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Don't forget to bend the elbows in the middle to do the push-up. And for the elbows, they're pointing outwards in the middle and out position and very narrow and pointing backwards in the narrow position. So we're coming from a chest out and middle to a triceps push-ups when the arms are narrow. Very good. And you hardly noticed I was doing those on the knees. <laughs> okay, let's have some fun again. Kick throughs. This is starting from a standard plank position, but then everything goes wild. So we're twisting onto one hand and on the opposite foot. Uh huh. Then diagonally touch the foot with the hand and come back into your plank position. The secret ingredient is to turn the foot all the way, 180 degrees, onto the sole of the foot. So you're touching the heel down. Twist the foot all the way, touch the heel down. Yeah, great. Now next challenge, keep the arm and the leg straight. Looks so much better. Straight leg, straight arm. And point if you want to, otherwise flex like I do. Yay! Okay, shoulder taps left and right from front plank position. So come into plank, standard planks, hands below the shoulders, hips, shoulder height, little bit of an arch, pulling the navel in, narrowing the hip points, long neck, and then touch the opposite shoulder, which you might find easy, but now try this. Don't shift your hips. Don't shift your hips left and right. Still easy? <laughs> Not so much. If it's still too easy, then bring those feet together. Feet touching. This should not be that easy anymore not to shift the hips left and right. You're doing great. This is grown time. This is mostly core and arm work. Fantastic. Crab reaches. This is great extension for the front body. So we're starting in crab position, reverse four point stance. Fingers are pointing out to the sides. Fingers pointing to the side. Then reach up and over, creating a little bit of an arch. And your head is in line with the spine. Extend the arm, reach over, long arm. Great. Now push those hips up, so we're engaging the back line here. Back muscles, glutes, hamstrings. Enjoy this one. Press the shoulder down, don't sag in your shoulder. Strength through pushing your hand down into the floor, shoulder away from the ear. Yeah. Turn around. Turn back into Sphinx Plank. Sphinx Plank is on the elbows, elbows underneath the shoulders, forearms on the ground, parallel, palms facing to the floor. Then walk up and walk back down. Change side, walk up. Walk back down, change side, walk up. <laughs> and walk back down, change side, walk up. And walk back down into Sphinx. We're coming from Sphinx into Plank. And again, this is a core challenge to not shift the hips left and right. If you have the feet a little bit wider, it's easier. If you have the feet a little bit more narrow, it's more challenging. 
Yes, suck the belly in. Don't relax those shoulders, keep going. Yeehaw! Now you can relax the shoulders a little bit for five more seconds. And then we're gonna come back into Sphinx Pose. So get into your elbow plank. Forearms are parallel. Elbows narrow underneath the shoulder. And now push back and forward. So the movement forward is coming from your heels, from your ankles, basically through your calves. And pushing backwards is coming through your hands. So I hope you don't have a slippery surface, otherwise you're gonna spread out like a, a sea fish. But if you're having a sticky surface, you can push really nicely into that sticky surface working on the deltoids. Wonderful. Let's have some fun with the frog jumps. And the frog jumps are called frog jumps because we're doing little jumps here while we're in plank. So come down, jump front and back and step back forward. Now, if you feel like it, jump back, tuck jump and jump forward, stand back up. What's that? Jump backwards, tuck jump, jump back forward, step up. So instead of just jumping forward and backwards, we're tuck jumping, if you want to, you don't need to. So the intermediate version is simply stepping backwards, jumping forward and backwards, and then stepping back up. It's like an extended burpee because we just like being down there, right? Do one more. Fantastic. To relax the shoulders a little bit, I voted for the intermediate version. So with one knee down, one leg out. Right side begins. Right hand down on the floor, fingers pointing forward. Then bring the inner knee down, the outer leg out. And you can either have the hand on the hips or extend into the T-stand and extend the upper arm to the ceiling or sky. And if this is quite too easy for you, you can always extend the lower leg. If it's too hard still, come with both knees on the floor. But try to extend the hip, try to not sag in the shoulder so you have a smiling collarbone and not a compressed collarbone. This is some great music, by the way. <laughs> All right, T-stand on the left. It's called a hybrid because one leg is extended, one leg is bent. So start with the hybrid version. Your shoulders and wrists have done a lot. So you can bring the lower leg down, the upper leg straight. Now bring those hips up, keep breathing. And if this is all too easy for you, start with extending the upper hand. And now play with those legs. This is too difficult. Bring the upper leg down, stay on both knees. This is too easy. Extend those legs into the full T-stand. Don't forget to push those hips up at all times. Push the hips up at all times. Very good. Keep breathing. That's five more seconds. You can do this. Exactly, you did it. All right. Five more exercises. Ground time continues with the kick rotation. So we're starting in plank position. Now bring the knee to the opposite elbow and come back into plank. Knee to opposite elbow and come back into plank. Secret ingredient, there's always one. The feet twist onto the inner arch. So don't stay on the, on the points, don't stay on the balls of the feet but rotate on the inner arches. This will help you so much. And at the same time, work, work the adductors. So this gives a little bit of adductor strength. Who said we're just working the upper body? We're also working the legs. Very nice. Plank around the world. Whatever you do, I want you to alternate lifting left and right arms and legs. So start in plank position. The feet wider apart is going to be a little bit easier. 
feet closer together, it's going to be a little bit harder. The hands are shoulder width apart, under the shoulders, elbows slightly bent, just so slightly. And then extend the arms forward, extend the legs backwards. You can go right left, right left, or you can go clockwise, right leg, right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg, and then you go the other way around. So change sides every now and then. Do a few more. Pull the navel in. Yes. If you need a little bit of time for your wrists and shoulders, pause the video, take 10 deep breaths, and then come back for ski steppers. So we're starting in plank position. Step the outer leg to the side of your hand. The inner leg follows and step back. If this stepping is too easy for you, you can jump it, jumping out and back and jumping out and back. So this is jumping to the outside of your fingers, of your hands. Don't jump onto those fingers. Careful with your head, don't overextend. So when you forward, always bring the nose in. So you drop the head forward. Very good. Working the shoulders, working the arms, the core. Two more plank checks, fairly easy. If you need a break, pause the video, 10 breath, take a sip of water and come back. Plank position and then plank jumping jacks. We're jumping out and in, but simply on the balls of our feet. So out and in on the balls of our feet. Very good. The momentum should come from bending the knees and of course from the elasticity of the ankles and not so much from dropping the hips. So be careful not to sag in the hips, but keep the hips shoulder height at all times. <laughs> Remember that, keep the hips shoulder height at all times. Hand firmly on the ground, shoulders where? Away from the ears, shoulder blades where? Towards the spine. You will know that by now. And here's one last one, jumping or stepping climbers. So wherever you are, whatever is still in you, start in plank position and then either jump forward and backwards, you can do this. This is the last one, no stretching today. You can stretch afterwards, whatever you want. But we're gonna finish here strong with the jumping climbers, forward and backwards, easy. Bending the knees as much as you can. Picking those hips up. And be careful with the head. Head comes in and out, in and out. Nose to the knee, crunch everything together. Step if you must. Step forward and back or jump forward and step back. Do a hybrid. <laughs> we love hybrids. Well done. All right, take a sip of water. Release everything out. Well done. This was ground time. Share it with your loved ones or do it together with them. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I'm going to see you all next time. Bye.